Mixopapillary ependymum of the spinal cord is a very rare tumor but it is very commonly seen in teenage children. The diagnosis is devastating for the parents as it causes weakness of both the lower limbs in the children. But the good news is with the modern microsurgical techniques in majority of the cases the tumor can be safely removed. In this video learn everything about mixopapillary ependymoma of the conus spinal cord welcome to this presentation on mixopapillary ependymoma of conus my name is dr kalyan bomakanti and i am a neurosurgeon and spine surgeon from hyderabad india what is mixopapillary ependymoma mixopapillary ependymoma is a type of tumor that develops in the spinal cord it is a rare form of ependymoma which is a type of tumor that originates from the cells that line the ventricles of the brain and the central canal of the spinal cord it is usually slow growing and benign meaning it is not cancerous however it can cause significant problems if it grows large enough or presses on the surrounding nerves and tissues where is the conus the conus is the lower part of the spinal cord where it ends and tapers into a bundle of nerves called the cauda equina mixopapillary ependymoma most commonly occurs in the conus region hence the name mixopapillary ependymoma of conus symptoms of mixopapillary ependymoma of conus symptoms of mixopapillary ependymoma of conus can vary depending on the size and location of the tumor common symptoms include back pain leg pain or weakness numbness or tingling in the legs or feet problems with bladder or bowel control if you experience any of these symptoms it is important to see a doctor for an evaluation diagnosis of mixopapillary ependymoma of conus mixopapillary ependymoma of conus can be difficult to diagnose as its symptoms can mimic those of other spinal cord disorders diagnosis usually involves a combination of imaging tests such as mri or ct scans and biopsy to confirm the presence of the tumor and determine its type and grade treatment of mixopapillary ependymoma of conus treatment of mixopapillary ependymoma of conus usually involves surgical removal of the tumor in some cases radiation therapy may also be used to help reduce the risk of recurrence your doctor will determine the best course of treatment based on the size location and grade of the tumor as well as your overall health and medical history surgery for mixopapillary ependymoma of conus surgery for mixopapillary ependymoma of conus is typically performed by a neurosurgeon the goal of surgery is to remove as much of the tumor as possible without damaging the surrounding nerves and tissues depending on the location and size of the tumor The surgery may be performed through an open approach or minimally invasive technique. Recovery from surgery, recovery from surgery for mixopapillary ependymoma of conus can vary depending on the extent of the surgery and individual factors. In general, most patients can expect to stay in the hospital for a few days after surgery and may require additional rehabilitation or physical therapy to regain strength and function. prognosis and follow up the prognosis for mixopapillary ependymoma of conus is generally good with a low risk of recurrence or metastasis however regular follow up appointments with your doctor are important to monitor for any signs of recurrence or new tumor growth conclusion thank you for joining us for this presentation on mixopapillary ependymoma disclaimer 